Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening and thank you for joining us on 7 at 7. I'm Renee Summerauer. We begin with top stories sponsored by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. The two teens accused of killing a retired police chief in a hit and run pleaded not guilty to murder and more than a dozen other charges. As to those charges, how do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. As to those charges, how do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Jesus Ayala and Zamir Keys waived their rights to a trial within 60 days after entering the not guilty plea. Ayala is accused of ramming a stolen vehicle into 66-year-old Andreas Probst as he rode his bike. Keys is accused of filming the video of the two teens laughing and planning to hit Probst. The teens are set to appear in court again October 24th. A juvenile was arrested today after police found a gun at Green Valley High School in Henderson. Additional police officers were on campus out of an abundance of caution, according to the school's principal. A man wielding an AR-15 who was shot by police had three times the legal alcohol limit in his system. Review Journal's James Schaefer has these details. All right, I just heard we heard banging. We're out here checking it out. You're out here with your gun. So what? What are you going to do? The body camera video of the 2022 fatal shooting of 38-year-old Darren Dyer by a North Las Vegas police officer was reviewed during a fact-finding review at the Clark County Government Center Monday. In the new details from the review, we are being told that officers responded to the house after a neighborhood resident called 911 to report a man at the house striking the glass door with a large metal pole. Police say it wasn't known why Dyer was carrying an AR-15 in his backyard, but earlier before the shooting, Dyer had a pool party at his house with around 50 15 to 20 people. Dyer was reportedly drunk and got aggressive with others there. When the officer saw Dyer, who was already combative, take hold of the AR-15 and start to lift it, the officer felt as if he could be shot and fired five rounds. The review serves in part to review these details and get the information in front of the public. For the Las Vegas Review Journal, I'm James Schaefer. MGM Resorts CEO Bill Hornbuckle gave new details about the September cyber attack at the Global Gaming Expo. He affirmed that MGM did not pay a ransomware demand to the attackers. He also said he believes the hackers never reached customers' credit card information. Hornbuckle also addressed the Formula One event, plus more pressing issues. You can learn more at LVRJ.com. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Mostly clear skies, but with breezy conditions are in your forecast for this evening. Lows around 59 degrees. For the rest of the week, we'll see a drop in temperatures Thursday and Friday, 78 degrees by Friday. Breezy conditions will also last until about Friday. Daytime highs rising back to the low to mid 80s by the weekend. Lows in the mid to upper 50s. In business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability, luxury strip retailers are beginning to prepare for the Formula One Las Vegas Grand Prix. The vice president of Regis Gallery is planning a special inventory just for visitors during race weekend, a $1.5 million jewelry trunk show, and custom art pieces to name a few. The Italian art boutique is one of many luxury retailers that are preparing for an influx of high net worth shoppers in Las Vegas. New products and innovations are being displayed at the Global Gaming Expo this week. 25,000 gaming industry members from across the globe are in Las Vegas at the Venetian until Thursday to find the newest toys for the casino floor. Some eye-catching things seen at the convention so far include a new game featuring the Netflix hit Squid Game and light-up table games with animations. Vegas Nation, brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. Raiders defensive end Max Crosby earned his fifth AFC Defensive Player of the Week award for his performance against Green Bay in Week 5. Crosby had five tackles, four of them for loss, and one sack in the Raiders' win over the Packers. My goal, you know, like you said, I want to be the best at what I do. Um, that's why I work the way I work. I want to win and, and be the best at you know, on the planet at what I do. Sports, sponsored by Shriners Children's Open, October 11th through 15th. Tickets on sale now. The Shriners Children's Open begins Thursday at TPC Summerlin. Of note, 11-time LPGA Tour champion Lexi Thompson will officially have her first career PGA Tour start when she tees off at 1.19 p.m. She will become the seventh woman to compete with the men on tour. Last year's champion Tom Kim will tee off alongside Luke List and Nick Taylor at 12.13 p.m. In health news, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. Medicare Plan F rates are exploding. So how 
how can you make the supplemental switch? Well, medical experts say you don't have to wait until Medicare's annual enrollment period to change your Medicare supplement. You can change from your Plan F to a different Medicare supplement company or a different plan such as Plan G or N. Log on to LVRJ.com to see what these Medicare supplement plans have to offer if you change from Plan F. And what is Merkel cell carcinoma and how can you protect yourself? Merkel cell carcinoma falls within the category of non-melanoma skin cancer and it's a rare form affecting about 2,500 people in the U.S. annually. This type of cancer is more aggressive than melanoma. Log on to LVRJ.com forward slash live well for how to protect yourself. Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Shriners Children's Open begins Thursday and LPGA Tour star Lexi Thompson is a 15 to 1 underdog at the Westgate Superbook to make the cut. There's also a prop bet for her first round score at TPC Summerlin with the total set at 76 and a half. Defending champion Tom Kim is the 12 to 1 co-favorite to win the tournament along with Ludwig Aber. Former Foothill High standout Taylor Montgomery is 80 to 1 while Bonanza High grad Graduate Scott Piercy is 250 to 1. In your entertainment news, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Christina Aguilera is the Viva Voltaire's new headliner and residency on New Year's Eve. The pop star made the announcement official Tuesday morning. She is playing December 30th and 31st. Her additional dates are to be announced Friday. That's also when tickets, tables, and packages go on sale at VoltaireLV.com. And there's five new and upcoming restaurants coming to the Las Vegas Strip. There's Makia Wagyu Shabu House opening soon at 3930 Spring Mountain Road in Chinatown. And My Garage Kitchen who has launched at 4040 West Craig Road along the restaurant main drag of North Las Vegas. For the full list, head to our website. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 p.m. If you're watching from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the Review Journal's YouTube channel for more great content. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.